Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. You say. No, you gotta ignore me. Yeah, because that's disrespectful. Obviously, no, I don't that's think, why, that's why she got a drink through on her face. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. Today, we're going to be talking about the new episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville, Season 6, Episode 27. So, the opening scene is Kimmy and Maurice. They are going over to their office building that's still under construction. Things are very far behind, and it's getting on Kimmy's nerves. Kimmy and Maurice go back and forth a little bit because Kimmy says that she wants him to be a little bit more handy. She says that when she got a husband she didn't want things around to be broken like she wanted her husband to be fixing stuff he says that he's an attorney and that she has no idea what goes into a lawsuit which he is working on multiple i do agree with him on that but she chooses it she says that he is the one that chose to be an attorney to have these properties under construction and to have a family so she wants a little bit more help from him around the house then kimmy tells him about this little hangout that her and tisha had where they went to go steam up their vaginas um she said it felt good and tells him about tisha thinking that she was pregnant and like she was like i can't believe it and then maurice can't believe it because uh marcel has gotten a vasectomy um, now this made me want to turn off the television, to be honest with you, because Tisha knows she's not pregnant, we know she's not pregnant, Kimmy knows it's not true, so why do we have to be seeing this? It just shows the lack of substance this show has come to. But Maurice does feel bad for all the things that are on Tisha's plate, so he suggests that she should go on a trip to Africa by herself and come back fresh, which I agree with that. Okay, so moving on, after Stormy's success of bringing Kiki and Tiffany together, Stormy wants to check on Tisha because maybe things can go back um, to how they used to be with her and Kiki. So she goes to see Tisha, who is in another office under construction. I mean, damn, we need to call Bob the Builder to this show because what is going on? So Stormy asks her if she has talked to Kiki and Tisha says, no, I have to back away. Tisha just came back from vacation, but she doesn't want to deal with Kiki in any way. Tisha says that she hasn't seen Kiki literally like take a pill or another type of substance, but her behavior does make Tisha reach to a conclusion. Stormy didn't like that, but then they talk a little bit more about Tisha's vacation. So she went on a girl's trip to Vegas with just her girlfriends. Marceau also went on a trip with his homeboys to Colombia. Stormy says, Colombia? Isn't that a brothel place? Now, wait a minute, what? Stormy sounded ignorant with that one. She says, that's where all the prostitutes are. Tisha just laughs. Another idea that Stormy has is for a double date. Stormy, Courtney, and then Tisha and Marceau. And they agree with that. As far as the website, Stormy brings it up. Remember that um, Tisha, when she launched the website, the return policy was the exact same from Stormy's. It was a copy and paste. Tisha says that she really is not involved in this hair care spray or whatever the hell she sells. She says that her attention is focused mainly on scope and black. Her team is the one that was involved in that. Her assistant didn't read the website right, and it was the web designer who messed up. Stormy says, are you going to apologize to me for all the videos and things people were saying? Tisha says, oh, you know, you know, people just talk. Stormy says that it was a bad look for you. And Tisha says, no, it was not a bad look for me. And then Stormy says, but it it overshadowed the girls like it could have been their launch and Tisha says well I got a lot of sales so I guess it turned out well oh my gosh Tisha cannot take criticism I have noticed that she might be telling the truth maybe it was the web designer that copied and pasted I don't know but Stormy is somehow able to make Tisha apologize for what I don't know but she did Moving on, it's Chris Fletcher and Nell. He brings some lunch to the daycare and he tells her about the other day that Chris Jr. dropped down to his office to talk that we saw last episode. 
but Nell is being super rude. She asks, she's, she says to Chris, well, did you ask him why he ain't answering my phone calls and not checking in on me? And then Chris attempts to tell Nell about the things that Junior said to him, that he felt depressed, but wow, Nell was not having it. She says, Junior likes to hold things over people's heads. He's, he's criticized by the family because we're telling him the truth. He's just an a-hole and is unhappy with his life. He needs to grow up. He needs to get over it. But Chris is trying to tell Nell that he really saw a different side to Chris Jr. that other day at the office and that he really needs counseling. And Nell says, well, he don't listen to anyone. Chris says that Jr. is bottling things up, that he can't sleep, that he goes out by himself at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. And Nell says, well, that's a problem. And I'm just like, well, of course it's a problem, Nell. That's why he's bringing it up to you. But the more Chris told her about the things that um, Jr. said to him, she is sort of able to calm down a little and she says that at the end of the day she doesn't want him to feel like he can't come around so she's willing to stop bringing up any discussion about her money that she has lent to him but he needs to agree to go to counseling and she don't want to be fighting in counseling he gotta be there and he gotta listen so that was that it's it's really crazy this whole chris fletcher and nell fletcher's family dynamic i feel really bad for the kids i feel like there's a lot more that we don't know there's some deep um childhood uh, trauma maybe that there is so maybe we'll see this counseling thing and see how that goes okay then it's a girl's day um kimmy invites tisha and melody to a little spa kimmy asks tisha how she's feeling and she says that the steaming thing really helped her in the bedroom then kimmy asks if she has told marceau that she took the pregnancy test but tisha is just laughing it off then Melody arrives. She looked really good. Thank God she didn't have one of them t-shirts on. So the three of them are catching up. And Kimmy says, I did see your name change ceremony. But my phone didn't click with no invite. She thought she would be invited. Only because it was posted on social media. So it made Kimmy think, you know, that's interesting that I wasn't invited. Melody says that it was just close family and a few friends and that she didn't want it to become a thing because like if she had invited Kimmy then she would have had to invite Maurice had she invited Tisha she would have had to invite more so and they're cool with Martel so she didn't want it to be a thing Kimmy is hearing her out but I do think there's a part of Kimmy that feels a little bit hurt but she's okay Melody says that the ceremony made her feel closure moving on she says that she really doesn't care about her kids still having the last name, but she doesn't. Kimmy says that personally, she didn't want um, to fall into a stereotype thing when her kids were still in school. Like, she wanted them to have the same last name as their mom. Like, she wanted everyone to have the same last name. And then Melody, in a nice, nasty, shady way, says, Well, you and Jalen now don't have the same last name. I don't care what Melody says, because Kimmy is right about that. Melody and Tisha are also able to talk about Melody who thought that Tisha had a problem with her because Melody, when they had that Black Expo meeting, Tisha reacted negatively towards Melody's um, feedback. I, I feel like this um, Black Expo thing happened like five years ago. We're still talking about it. And Tisha says that she has no bad energy towards Melody. Tisha is okay with Melody. And Mel says that... She receives that. Kimmy says, that's great. I want all of us to move together, but they're still blocked on social media. Moving on to the last scene, Stormy and Courtney. They're waiting for Tisha and Marso for a double date. While they're waiting, Stormy tells them about the things that her and Tisha talked about regarding the website. By the way, Stormy, what is this outfit? But anyway, Tisha and Marceau get there late, which is not a good thing. They're talking, and somehow someone brings up the barbecue. And Marceau says there was a lot of tension in the air that day because of Kiki. And then Stormy had said that Courtney had a problem with him. Courtney tells him that there's no problem, but he doesn't like the little shady comments. For example, Marceau calling him Mr. Steele when he knows that's not his last name. Marceau says, oh, well, that might be some selective outrage going on because you had a problem with that, but you didn't have a problem with your wife calling me a bitch. But Stormy, I don't I don't know what her energy was this day but she was sort of doubling down on why she called him a b and she claims that her calling him a b and then him calling courtney mr steel was something that a real b would do so marcel says okay i guess I, i'll just have to ignore you from now on when you call me that and stormy says no don't ignore me that's rude that's why she got a drink thrown in her face tisha's like wait a minute 
why did I get a drink thrown in my face? She says, because you ignored Kiki. Tisha is taken aback. So they're playing pool, and in the middle of the conversation, Stormy gets her keys and just walks out. She invited them. Now, granted, they were late, but it's just weird for you to have a... You're like, okay, let's have a double date. You come in with such animosity, doubling down on something you had already said you were going to move past forward on and then for you to be like behaving like this and then randomly leaving it was weird and what tisha got out of that was she understands that um stormy has a relationship with kiki but for stormy to make it normal that kiki threw that drink at her to make it almost feel justified lets tisha know that stormy has a problem with her so that was the end of the episode um listen y'all I don't understand why this show is still on this season. 27 episodes? That's ridiculous. This show started like back in December and it's already December 2, 2023. I don't know what's going on. But I do know that next week they're going to start planning the Houston trip. Which I do know that's going to be the finale. Um, somewhere around that Houston trip. So I can't wait for that. Um, but yeah, as far as this episode, you guys. The only major takeaways that I got out of it were Kimmy sort of. No, starting to notice that Melody may not really be as much as a friend as she thought she was. And then the second one is Stormy just being weird and clearly doesn't like Tisha or Marceau. But y'all, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time. You have a great one. Bye.